guys. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to today's edition of Super Cute Baby Makes Us Smile. Check this out. I mean, like, come on now. Don't say anything about him being bald either. Hey, guys, speaking of babies, let's just more fun and square. So let's talk about the possible babies from these crosses. And up to this point, we've done non Mendelian things just a little bit with uh, Punnett squares of blood types, right? Multiple alleles. And then we introduced this new idea of codominance or incomplete dominance. So let's look at some examples of those non Mendelian um, types of inheritance. So if you look at this problem, it says a curly haired and a straight haired person mate, and all of their offspring have wavy hair. Wavy hair is a phenotype that's like a mix between them. So I'm just giving you that information that it's a blend. What would the result of a cross between two wavy haired individuals be? So if we're blending together the traits, it's a whole new phenotype. We're blending. Co is two. Ink is new. This is an incomplete dominant example because nobody's really dominant. We're just going to blend those two together. So based upon the fact that it's incomplete dominance, we are going to use one single letter. One will be capital, one will be lowercase, but technically neither one's really dominant over the other. So it doesn't matter what you call what. All right. And we're going to use H for hair because I feel like it. So if our, our discussion is about curly hair people, um, I'm going to make that the capital H. Okay. A straight haired person, we're going to make that the lowercase h. And the way to get the intermediate phenotype. So we got to put those two alleles together to get a phenotype that's a blend of the two alleles together. So this is going to be our big H, little h. Since the intermediate one is the heterozygous one, we know that these two are going to be homozygous. Now, the problem says, what would the result of a cross between two wavy-haired individuals look like? Let's do that cross. We're going to take a wavy-haired person according to my key, a wavy-haired person according to my key. And remember, big H is just our way to represent one of our phenotypes, but it doesn't actually mean that it's dominant since this is incomplete dominance. Just to remind you. All right, so let's do the cross. Cross them. We still do the exact same procedure. What's on the top? What's on the side? 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 So we just crossed two wavy haired people and let's look at their babies. We have one kid who's homozygous dominant, two kids who are heterozygous, and one kid who's homozygous recessive. Based upon our key, which is just really just this, let's talk about their offspring. We have a 25% chance that they will have a curly haired baby. We have a 50% chance that they will have a wavy haired baby. And we have a 25% chance that they will have a, what is it, straight haired baby. There we go. There's our ratio. Super amazing. That was incomplete dominance because we blended them together. Let's try a different example. In this one, wait, was my face in the way? It was just a little bit. Okay, there it is. In this example, we're going to talk about cows for a minute. Guys, in cattle, our phenotypes could be red. We have a bunch of red hair. Our phenotype could be white. We have a bunch of white hair. Or we could be roan. And roan means we have both red and white uh, hair for whatever you call it on a cow. So if we have both, 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 co is two, ink is new, we have two phenotypes being shown. This has to be codominance. They're both dominant. Nobody's really recessive, so we're going to see both, <coughs> excuse me, both phenotypes show up. In this situation, let's use, so sorry, <coughs> so sorry, let's use R for red. Guys, since they're both dominant, we're going to make both of them capital letters because everybody's dominant in codominance. So let's use W 
for white. I keep joking. And the only way to get a roan cow is R and W together. You are red and you are white. So a farmer wants to meet a homozygous white cow and a roan bull. Now, please don't let the cow versus bull fool you. That was just my way of saying it was a girl and a boy. Okay, doesn't matter. So let's put the homozygous white cow up here. We know that to be white, you have to be capital W, capital W. That was our key. The only way to get a roan cow is red and white. So both letters, both are capital, do the cross. Now we just take what's on the top and the side and 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 we look at our babies and we say, what is that cross going to produce? Guys, this cow and this cow or babies, whatever, are both roan. So 50% of our babies are going to be roan probably. And this one and this one are white. So 50% of our babies are going to be white probably. There's codominance. There's our ratio, our, our offspring, and we know that we are using two capital letters for codominant and one letter, one big, one little for incomplete, even though it doesn't matter which one you call the capital letter since it's really dominant in this example. Okay? Great. Super. Have a great day.